Okay. Right, we're going to install the continuous ink system on the Canon Pixma Pro 9000. We've got a couple of different types of inks, uh, but for this purpose we're going to be using Lyson Photonic. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch the printer on and open the lid. This will cause the carriage block to move into the middle position and we're then going to remove the print head. Alright, so to remove the print head, lift the grey lever upwards and tilt the print head towards you and then just slowly move it out like that. Place it on some paper or some tissue and then we're going to, with small silicon seals, it's a very small part but it plays an important role. We're going to place the silicon seal on each head around each head with the tweezers that are provided like that. So there's eight in total and we're going to place all eight of them onto the print head. So they will actually only go in one way and you'll soon see if you put if you put them in backwards. So the purpose of these silicon seals is to close any air gaps up. Uh, and ensure that you get a good print. So without them you're likely to be inundated with air in your lines at various stages. So I've just got two left now. And the last one. Right, so all the silicon seals are in place now I'm going to put the print head back into the printer. Tilt it back and leave it in that position. So the next stage is the cartridge block. So I'm going to turn it upside down and remove the elastic band. Then I'm going to remove all the orange caps. Try and do it all in one, all in one go in one hand in a block. It's less messy. The first most important part is this feed roller here. So before you start removing the orange caps, make sure this is in the down position like that. And then you can remove the orange caps. Try and keep the cartridges above the reservoir because if you have it lower, some ink could come out. So do it while it's in your hand above. Remove all eight caps. And as you'll see, there's no ink coming out of the cartridge. For two reasons. One is because we've closed the roller, and the second one, I'm actually working higher. And then we're going to put them all in in one. So I'm going to turn it upside down and put them all in like that, in one go. And then when they're in, clip them all into place, pushing down. and you should see all the lights come off. So for the next part, all this cable is twisted, so we need to untwist it. So to do that, you can, as long as you've got all the plugs in, you can actually turn this around and around to remove all the twists. You may have to do it one more time, just, just the last stage of installation. So put the grey locking bar back down, and then with the tweezers, remove the green backing tape from the clips. That's one. That's two. I'll use your fingers instead. Right, the location of these clips is quite important. So the first clip, it's at the bottom here, and the clip is in line, straight in line with this plastic groove that you can see up here. It is detailed in the manual, so 
so if you can't see clearly refer to the manual. Push down very firmly to ensure a good grip. The second black clip should be in line here with these two. If it's not you can actually slide the clip left or right to get it into line. Again pushing that one down firmly, very firmly, so they can't move. So line your continuous sync system up at the side of the printer here. So the next stage, just to ensure that this isn't twisted, so actually when you fold it down like that, you can see that there's no twist. So the next stage of the operation is to touch, is to tuck this ink line in like that, and then actually physically close the lid, just to check. So before we actually move to the next bit, you'll see some some spacers. So the purpose of this is to keep the lid raised to allow enough room for the ink line. And these are going to be placed in line with this edge here on both sides. So the lid will actually sit on top of these. So to ensure there's no twist, and we can then close the lid. That's as far that's as far as it's gonna go. So within your accessory pack there's some small some small spare stickers. You can actually put one on here and actually remove both sides of it. It can be a bit fiddly sometimes. I mean if you've got nails uh, you can use them or use the tweezers provided. To, put, to peel it back. There we are. So I'm going to mount that on there and that's, that's just really to tidy the cable up. I've not used a clip because at some point you may need to you may need to remove this and, and get back inside of the printer. So the next stage we're going to remove all the small plugs from the top of the continuous ink system. All eight of them. So again, you can see here, because I, I've straightened the cables, I've not really got any twists at all in the cable. Before you remove these plugs, if you've got any twists, I'd get them out then before you do this stage here. So all eight of them have been removed. Now we have an air filter here. When you look at them, they've got a, a thin pointy end and then a stubby fat end. So the stubby fat end has to go down first with the pointed end upwards. So I'm going to install all eight of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once this is installed you can then move the roller into the up position. This will allow the ink to flow. So this should always be in the up position. You don't need to close it when you've finished your printing or, or last thing at night. You can then line the continuous ink system up at the side of your printer. So before I actually do any prints, I'm going to do two deep head cleans and a print head alignment. This is just to flush uh, the old ink out uh, and bring the new stuff in. So I'm going to perform a deep clean and I'm selecting all colours on the monitor. So this is going to take a couple of minutes to run. So before, so at the moment it's not recognised and this is because the printer thinks the lid is still open. So in this position here there's a very small sensor, it is detailed in the manual. So I've taken one of the small plugs and I'm going to push it in here. When it hits the sensor, the grid carriage will move back to the right 